Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to Fortnite China. Now, the last time we played Fortnite China, we actually had a massive problem. The servers were lagging so much and we couldn't really get anything done. Since then, it looks like the servers have stabilized a lot. And I got to tell you, I'm having the most fun right now on Fortnite China. Not even clickbait. The solo games are a little bit of a hit and miss. You either just get complete noobs trying to rack up hours, which I'll get into later, or you'll get your Chinese ninjas that run around and just outbuild you and you're dead. But either way, it's a lot of fun. And a lot of today's video is going to focus on the Chinese exclusives of like how Fortnite China works because I've had to rack up 20 hours of playtime to try and unlock some skins for you guys today to show off. And I've learned a few things about how Fortnite China works. After you play for five hours, uh, you do this thing on the website and you claim it and you get the free battle pass like bought. Like it's just straight up bought. You don't get any of the tiers. You still have to buy the tiers. I have 200 V-Bucks. I could buy one tier. So this is the website portal where you go in to redeem all of your skins. And you'll see these two right here. These actually got leaked in the game a while ago. No one really knew how you got them. They're in both the English and the Chinese version. But as of right now, you can only get them in the Chinese version. And the way it works is that once you get invited to Fortnite China, you've got to play 20 hours. Then you get the privilege to invite other players to play Fortnite China. And once that player that you've invited has racked up 10 hours, you earn three medals. And if you go down here, of course, big shout outs to my brother who was, you know, playing Fortnite China for me. Uh, he's racked up 12 hours here. I've received my three medals. So if you look down here, I've got three medals total uh, that I've redeemed because you get three per, you know, a person that's played 10 hours. Um, each back bling costs two medals. And then you can do this one. That's like a treasure chest and like you win prizes and stuff. But I think you have to have, yeah, a physical Chinese address, which I don't. That's what I'm saying, man. Fortnite, like English version has nothing like this. It looks like, it looks like Epic's going like seriously horrible in China with their marketing campaign. Cause it's just like, this is some serious stuff. Like they're, like they're trying to win China and they're winning me and I'm not even in China. So anyway, let's get into the good stuff. Let's go ahead and redeem our medal here. Uh, I have to get my Google Translate come out. So it says here, congratulations, you get the spree penguin. So yeah, I picked the penguin. The penguin's the cooler back bling of the two. Um, I might unlock the shield later down the line, but I think the penguin's the better one. Agree? Agree. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, there it is. But penguin back bling. So it comes in as a blue. I would assume the other one would as well. And um, the real question is when the actual English version will get it. But I guess this will be like an exclusive little you know, gameplay with it for now. Which, by the way, took 30 hours of grinding. So if you could do the boy a favor, leave a like, leave a sub. Would very much so appreciate it. Now, the only unfortunate thing is that I don't have a lot of skins here to try it out with. And I don't really know how to buy V-Bucks. It doesn't, it doesn't let me buy V-Bucks. which is I only got V-Bucks from the Battle Pass unlocks, which I'm about to get 200 more. But there's a closer look at our Penguin Boy. And, uh, oh, it looks like his head, his hair moves around when you turn. Okay, that's kind of cool. And his little, his little purple thing 